Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at one of the most disliked features of JavaScript. Now, most of you probably haven't heard of this feature right now and I'm going to start by saying that it is currently deprecated, which means you should not use this for your projects, whether it is for your personal projects or your, you know, your real projects that are client facing, etc. You should probably avoid using this feature as it raises problems with confusion. Now I have heard, like I said, it is one of the most disliked features and I'm going to be showing you a code snippet right now that looks something like this. As we can see, we've got a constant called people, which of course is an array of people, Dom, Alex and Sarah. Now we can see on line three, we have this syntax right here. It says with people, console.log length. Now, some of you may know what this is doing based on uh, how the code looks and what it says, but uh, for those of you who don't know, this right here is perfectly valid code and we're gonna be getting a result in the console. Let's run this script here. We can say node index.js and press enter and we get three right there. Now, of course, you may have noticed that three is the length of the array of people. And yes, that is correct. The length here refers to that length. But what is actually happening here? Because, um, you know, when, when it says console log length, there is no variable or function called length. So how is it getting this value? Well, the way it works is in my own words is that when you say with people, everything inside this block has people as its primary scope. Now that definition there might not be 100% accurate, but it is the way I understand this and how I like to think about it. Because essentially when JavaScript sees something like length as an example inside a function, it first tries to look at the local scope. Are there any variables called length? If there is, it's going to use it. Otherwise, it might go to the global scope to try and find the length variable or property. But in this case here, it considers people as being part of that, uh, you know, scenario, part of uh, where length might come from. So essentially, this code here is just saying people dot length. So you can emit that first part people dot because you're saying with people, give me the length. Now you can probably see why this is deprecated and why it is not recommended to go ahead and use this one because of course it can be confusing. You're always trying to guess, okay, where is length coming from? Is it a variable? Um, is it part of people? And essentially, imagine you got a with statement with 30, 40 lines long, and you might have multiple if statements, a couple of nested blocks. It's going to get increasingly difficult to, uh, you know, find out where your uh, references are coming from because you're always in the back of your head. You're always thinking, well, is that part of the people uh, object in this case? Now, of course, people objects referring to the people array because in JavaScript, almost everything is an object, including the arrays. Now, we've seen here how this works for properties. Let's talk about methods because the methods work in the exact same way. Let's update this code here. I want to console.log people. Okay, so I'll just run this code right now. Of course, we get the array right there as it currently stands, but I want to add a name to the array and then also remove one of them. So I'm gonna say here, push, then say Johnny. Then I'll say shift, okay? So now I expect Johnny to be added to the array and also using the shift method, remove the first item in the array. So we should get Alex, Sarah, and Johnny. I'll run this code. And of course we do indeed get Alex, Sarah, and Johnny because these methods here have ran. And just like it was for the property of length, this is just like saying people.push and then people.shift. So the main takeaway of this video is that you should probably not use, or you, you definitely are not recommended to use the with statement in your JavaScript code, but the main point is 
when you do see it being used, hopefully not very often, but if you do see this being used, essentially you're emitting that first part where you say people dot and you go straight into the method call or the uh, property reference. And one last thing to mention is that when you call these methods, of course, the this keyword is going to refer to the object being called on within the with statement, just like it would normally if you were to say people.push. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.